Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you today a fish tank filter that I built to be used with a 250 gallon fish tank. This tank has been removed or taken out of my system and it's being put into isolation. This filter makes this fish tank a standalone system. I'm drawing a center hole in this five gallon container for a standpipe. And I'm using a three quarter inch PVC pipe. And this is the closest drill bit saw that I have. Hopefully, that didn't go oversized too much. It is oversized, but I don't want the collar to go through. So I want this collar to be a stop on the three quarter inch pipe. So the pipe won't slide all the way through or the bucket won't slide all the way down the, the tube. Removing the burrs off of these holes so that there won't be any pieces of plastic that the fish may swallow. I have some old um, aluminum screen, window screen, and I'm going to cut a circular disc out, and this will cut with a pair of scissors. This disc is going to be used on the underside as a barrier to keep charcoal from dropping through those larger holes that I had just made. And the charcoal of course is filter material. It's pretty good in there. Of course, what I also need is a hole in the center to allow the standpipe to penetrate up through it. Right there, we'll cut into this. It's nice. This is the size of the air hose that I'm using in my system. And it's a thick hose, but it's only a, like a quarter in, or an eighth of an inch opening on the inside. So I need to size this with uh, a drill bit. And Best way to do it is see which hole it fits in. Right there. And the easiest way to drill is step drilling. So we take a smaller bit. And I want this uh, collar, this is going to be my stop collar, I want that to be about two, two feet off the bottom 
of the tank. The tank is three foot tall. This bucket measures 13 and a half inches tall. So the uh, bucket will sit about this deep into the water. Without that, the bucket from the weight can slide all the way down to the bottom. So the uh, collar, I'll glue these together so that they won't slip. The collar is going to stop it from sliding all the way down. Okay, now I want the air to enter this about an inch to an inch and a half from the bottom. That's the pre hole. Then here's the whole size. And the hose is going to come in from the top at an, at an angle. So I'm going to modify that hole so that my hose can come in and lean. And that, what I'll do is use a uh, pull tie to hold the hold that together and that will allow the air to blow in and then run up the pipe as it goes up the pipe it expands and it pushes water with it okay now when this is sitting down on the bottom I'm going to make some cuts so that it can't trap the uh, water from coming in so I'll cut a couple notches on the sides so that it can always allow uh, water to come into it. So I'll either use, we'll see what'll work, I'll either use my bandsaw or my tubing cutter. I don't know if the tubing cutter is capable of grabbing that or not. And we'll try it this way. That should work. So anyway, it sets. It should allow air to come in. And it, I'm going to try to keep it standing vertical. So that should allow that to come in from that side. Okay, let's go put it together. See how it works. Here's the uh, air line from my uh, air stone that I just connected. And I'm going to test it to see if this is going to pump water up the, the uh, tube. So I inserted that air hose in there, and now I'm going to insert this. And I think that's pretty good pumping action. That's a lot higher than what I need. So I think that's going to work. And it should move quite a bit of water through the filter. Here's the uh, filter material that I'm going to be using. First of all, here's the activated charcoal. Um, standard stock item at uh, any pet store. Then I have uh, some polyfill. It's uh, craft uh, cotton or stuffing. And I'm going to use that over top of the charcoal because this is uh, real fine. Then I have this fine uh, pond filter material and then on top I'm going to use the coarse pond filter material. This is the same stuff I'm using in my uh, grow cups in the towers. So this one here should be collecting any of the more solid uh, debris that will be coming up and this one here can be cleaned uh, more often than all the finer. And the uh, activated charcoal, that should be filtering out a lot of the toxins that would be in, in the fish waste of the water. Okay, uh, what I need first is uh, set the height of this, cut it, and glue it. And uh, that'll have to, I'll measure that into the uh, tank itself and we'll get back to assembling the filter after that.
Here I'm going to cut this uh, filter material so that I can fit it inside the bucket. It has a light color, dark color. The darker color is uh, coarser and the light color is finer. And I should be able to just push it in without making it uh, round. So that's that material. And then this one, I'll do the same thing with the width of the bucket. And there you have that. Now to assemble it, we're going to connect everything together. I think what I'll do is uh, fasten a permanent PVC tube with the fitting coming up so this will just slide into it. That way I can pack all my medium around there and lift the bucket off of the tube and that would be self-contained. So let's go and see if I have some fittings for that. This is what I found. And it is a plumbing connection for uh, like a sink where the inch and a quarter pipe goes into one end and it connects to the inch and a half pipe on this end. So I'm just gonna dry fit those together. I removed the uh, plastic lock ring that was in there and I cut a piece of rubber that will fit over this to help seal it. So we're going to put this together. Um, I opened the hole up in the screen. We're going to put the screen in first. Probably don't have to, but this is going to uh, lock the screen in the bottom. This will then go in through the screen into the bucket. Snug that up, right there, and here is the tube, and it still connects, still stops, so that's going to work, and you see where the height is. Now I'm going to fill this up, the screen's already in, I'm going to put a layer of charcoal in there. use it all. Now I'm going to stuff batting in. Okay, this is going to need a hole cut in the middle. I'm going to do it this way. And the finer portion down there and then on filter the course we'll do the same thing right there I had the air turned off because of the noise just for the camera sake Okay, I don't know if you can see that. There's the end of the hose. I'm going to zip this on. And of course, we're going to use two of them. Right there, I'll trim those ends off 
see how it's going to work. Here's the bucket. Bucket wants to float until water's in it. Okay, plugging the air pump in. Whoa. Already throwing muck up. the water and do its cleaning. That tank is in isolation from the rest of the system. If uh, I need to medicate, I can do medication and uh, if I do that then I will drain all the water and put new water in. And we'll let it run, see in a few days how it's going to fare. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye-bye.